always looking to take your power game to the next level. Whether it's improving your, your clean and jerk, improving your snatch, improving your ability to strike someone, to explode, to jump, to get out of your starting stance, it's all the same thing. That's what's so great. Training has a lot of applications. Sometimes what we're doing with the weights transfers over to jumping, then transfers over to our running, and then obviously we apply that to our specific sport. So athletes, whether you're in team sports, basketball, football, wrestling, rugby, baseball, or if you're a, a lifting aficionado, you're loving what you're doing in the gym, you're generating huge weight with your clean and jerk or snatch, this is all gonna help you. We wanna make sure we're explosive from that hip loaded position. When we're talking about when we break that hip hinge, we create that little dip and that explosive. This isn't a big movement, isn't it? Is it? No, not at all. We don't jump putting our butt all the way down and up, even though we'll squat from there, we're looking for a little different, different development. Here is completely different. We want to mimic what we're doing when we clean, when we explode, when we jump. We're getting a small dip and a small explosion. We've done hand cleans, right? Getting our uh, body over the bar, working on just accelerating that bar up. Sometimes that could be a little bit too much for athletes or it's, you don't necessarily want to work your rack. You don't want to necessarily have to catch the weight. You want to add more weight to the side and you want to work that first initial explosion. You want to do it right. You want to have it really crisp and then have it build up and add on to your other lifts and add on to what you're doing on the field. So I'm going to use this just with the bar. Again, this is the best way to learn it. If you can do it with bar or PVC pipe, you then be able to do it then with big weight. So I want to take this bar and I'm just going to have it at mid-thigh level here. All right, we've got the mid-thigh hang clean pull. All right, there's going to be no pulling here in this sense. The pull is what our hips are doing. I want to be in a great position here. I'm going to defy convention a little bit, and instead of having our shoulders over the bar, I want to anchor back. Let's really get to the last part, the last element of this second pull that we call when we get triple extension from our hips, knees, and ankles. I get my weight back on my heels. This helps us learn this, okay? Instead of being here where it can be tough, where we anchor balls of the feet, anchor back to the heels, and just be tall. Notice I'm not extending my back yet. I'm going to be ready to do that when I explode up here. I want to make sure that my weight stays over my heels, my body weight. I want to look straight up. And all I'm doing with this exercise is extending the hips, firing them up and through as if I were jumping. Obviously, my knees are going to straighten. My ankles are going to come up. I'm going to come up on my toes, and that's fine. My weight's on my heels to start. So I'm going to get glute and hamstring work here. And I'm exploding up and allowing that shrug to happen late. Never row up here. I don't want your elbows bending ever for this exercise. I want to anchor back and I just explode up. If you're able to, as you get better with this, and start getting a great explosion, hold up at the top for that itty bitty split second. Pause at the top there. Now, I'm going to get a couple reps with this so you can see it. And I'll catch my breath. And, for, and then you'll be able to point out something. Watch where I start. And then as I explode up, Notice where I'm finishing, slightly. Every time I hit a rep, I move back just a little bit. Now, my intention isn't this way. It is because my weight's through my heels and I'm thinking up, vertical, bam, I'm shooting straight up. There's a natural drift that happens here. That's all right. What it'll ensure is that I'm being accurate with my explosion, I'm not leaving the ground. I'm quick and I'm efficient with it because again, even in sport, you'll explode up and then have to get your hands and be in a good position to either redirect or push and pull on another opponent. Or when it comes to your clean and your snatch, we've got to get triple extension, then we've got to get ready to receive and catch the weight, catch that bar, whether it's over our head or wrapped up on our shoulders. Now, take your time with this one, learn it with the bar, the PVC, and then add big weight. There should be no reason that this weight can't add up to at least 125% of your one rep max for your clean or your snatch respectively, add that weight on and you'll be able to do multiple reps. Huge confidence boost. So if you're a, a 300 pound cleaner, you've got 350, 340 on the bar here, getting five reps, exploding up from the hips, strengthen our grip, build our confidence in which holding that weight and be able to explode with it. Now, for the athletes that are doing things from split stances, it's an easy uh, progression here, or at least an easy little uh, change in which we're putting one leg in front of the other and we're getting the same thing, same pop. Let that back heel come off the ground, stay tall, bend, and we get that strong, quick pop. Really the work now is being done by that front leg, heel.
get through the heel, explode on up, and you'll feel the same thing. There'll be a slight drift back as we're going. Obviously, let's hit them on both legs here so that we can get used to that. And we're getting that same hip extension, that same pop. If we're shrugging right, our chest will come up, and now we'll truly extend from the back. Hips first, then back. Everything else will flow from there when it comes to your knees, ankles, shoulders, and, and neck. We want to make sure that we go from the center on out. All the power comes here. Train this. Let it express itself in all the directions in which you're moving. 